when faculty are open to experimentation, new ways of teaching emerge. Professor Chandan Choudhury wanted to understand how students actually engage in small group discussions during case study analysis. But he knew observing each and every group all the time is not possible for any faculty. With the help of the AI-powered platform Breakout Learning that evaluates case study discussions in real time, he was able to gather information about what his students took back from a case study. Breakout Learning doesn't just watch the conversations. It helps surface who's contributing, how the dialogue flows, and whether critical thinking is happening. This experiment is more than a tech upgrade. It's a glimpse into how AI can empower faculty to reshape the way they teach, one small group at a time. I'm Chandan Chaudhary. I'm a professor of practice of operations management and information systems at the Indian School of Business. I did the experiment of leveraging an AI professor in the classroom while teaching business case. In my course, I taught a cohort and, and they go through a program called Advanced Management Program in Operations and Supply Chain. I wanted to understand how can we leverage AI for teaching cases more effectively in the classroom? Can AI create more value for the learners? Uh, and the third aspect uh, I wanted to really understand is uh, often students show up in the classroom without going through a case. Uh, can AI professors solve this puzzle? So when you see the traditional way of conducting uh, breakout room sessions, it is very difficult for a physical professor to move from uh, one breakout room to other breakout room uh, to make assessment on how are they having the discussion, whether everybody is participating, not participating. And, uh, and I thought in an uh, AI, AI could be present at the same time concurrently in multiple rooms can actually make assessment of each student and each group. So this, this was something that I wanted to really experiment. The idea of using an AI as an enabler when I'm conducting a case uh, in the classroom the idea came just 10 days before start of a class. The kind of anxiety I had was, uh, will it work? Would the AI professor do a good job? What kind of input do I need to give to the AI platform uh, says that uh, it does a good job? Uh, would the students really uh, like the way AI is conducting a class? So in the AI platform that I leverage uh, called breakout learning platform. So in the platform, I had to define the learning objectives and, and I had to define the rubric that the AI platform should use to assess the student. I had to also create a synopsis of the case and motivate the student to go through the main case. And, and then I had to also provide relevant recent information if I believe that there is something which is going to be useful uh, for the students to go through. And, uh, and then uh, also define a quiz which would help me to uh, understand uh, if the students have really gone through the case are they clear about the overall aspect of the case that they'll be having a detailed discussion in a breakout session, which will be monitored and analyzed by an AI platform. I think uh, the analysis and insights that the AI professor provided was, was very interesting. First of all, the whole conversation that happened in uh, breakout sessions, uh, the AI platform categorized it in the, the, on the basis of understanding. For example, 
can we say the understanding of a group or an individual was very high? Can we say it understanding was just high? Or was it just like medium level of understanding or no understanding? So this was the first bit of information which was uh, provided by the AI platform. The second thing which the AI platform provided was the dashboard. There was a very interesting dashboard wherein the AI platform analyzed the conversation of each student and each group. And at a student level and a group level, it actually stated if something was mentioned which was relevant, it popped up as a bubble. And if the degree of relevance was high, the size of the bubble was higher. So, uh, so in the dashboard, we come to know the talk time. We also come to know the, the quality and quantity of conversation. The third thing which was interesting is the platform gave feedback. In the context of the Bloom's taxonomy, how do you rate and score an individual student or a, or a group of uh, students, for instance? Uh, you know, would you say a group was creative? Uh, would you say the idea and conversation that a group brought in was really very, very innovative? Or would you say that the, the uh, conversation was just elementary when an individual uh, discussed and remembered certain facts related to the case? So uh, that I would say is the next thing that the AI platform provides. But what is interesting is that every individual and every group got the, the feedback about their insights and their performance. And me as a professor, I got the feedback on every student and every group. It helped me to understand also students' cognitive skills. Many students uh, felt that it was very interesting to have an invisible professor who is observing everything that the participants are saying in a breakout session and immediate after the end of the breakout session is giving personalized feedback and also feedback to the group on uh, the quality and quantity of conversation. In fact, uh, some of the students said that uh, it was useful to have an AI professor uh, conducting the class because here not only the extrovert but also the introvert could actually talk. They could have the discussion very, very freely and, uh, and overall the students gave very good feedback. There's an interesting question. Uh, that comes to my mind. When AI can teach, AI can assess students and can give personalized feedback, including feedback on the cognitive skills, uh, the question comes that uh, what is going to be uh, the role of human professors uh, like me? I think uh, with the advent of AI, AI can play an important role as an enabler to make the learning experience of students much more impactful. It helps us as human professors to accelerate the process of innovation and invention in the, in the classroom. And uh, net net, I think, instead of resisting AI, uh, we need to imbibe AI and use AI as an enabler.